how do we decide uh, between sotacell and idacell CAR T in the real world for patients? That is a very, very tricky question. Certainly, both are CAR T that are approved without maintenance therapy. So being able to offer either for a patient could have a benefit in terms of having some um, remission period that are treatment free. Um, access for IDASEL has improved significantly in the recent months. So many uh, treatment centers likely like ours uh, will have um, almost unrestricted access to that slot now. Um, access is improving for SOTACEL, but uh, not quite to the same degree at this time. And so at this time, it may still be a little bit of, you know, what's the quickest way I can get a patient uh, to a CAR-T treatment slot. And um, short of that, there may be a little bit more consideration in terms of what are we understanding about uh, toxicities, you know, particularly um, any uh, evolving data around late onset neurotoxicities, you know, for, for the CAR-T product and considering, you know, would we um, potentially consider a patient that um, maybe have less concern for CNS pathologies, a little bit younger, more fit, um, to be selected for, for SOTACEL uh, in a relative manner, you know, that they may um, have that benefit of the treatment-free period. You know, um, it's an ongoing question, you know, would these patients potentially be at less risk for some of these uh, toxicities uh, versus a patient who may be a little bit more older, more frail, but could still potentially benefit from CAR-T treatment.